my Republican opponent in 2012. It's nice to see you here. I know you have an active Republican club in Kings Point, where I live. Do I own another piece of property in Palm Beach County? Yes, I do. I own a house in West Palm Beach that I've owned since 1995, 6, 7, something like, 98 I think it was. I didn't want to give the house up. I did not have to sell the house. I bought a villa in Kings Point. I live in Kings Point. Most of you have known me for a really long time. We've worked on a lot of things together. We've done a lot together. And I want to keep doing that for you. I just completed 27 years with Palm Beach County government. And I have done everything from take minutes to meetings to handle legal documents to do the, uh, uh, when you oppose your tax, the, your, um, when the property appraiser issues your tax assessment and you disagree with that assessment, you can challenge that. I ran that system for five years for the clerk's office. I worked in human resources. And my last job before I became your commissioner was to work for the previous commissioner, Commissioner Aronson. And I spent 18 years working for Commissioner Aronson out of his 20 years of public service. I've been attending West Boca Community Council meetings since 1994. I've come month after month after month. The only time I've missed a meeting is when I've been on vacation and out of town. So we have a very long history. I've worked with Sherry. I've worked with Jeff Winnikoff. I've worked with Milton Brenner. I've worked with Fran Reich, the original founder. And we have worked together for a very long time. I want to cover a few of the things that we've worked on um, together over the years. Number one being, uh, when I became a county commissioner, panhandling was out of control here in West Boca. And I brought that to the county commissioners. The county attorneys reviewed everything. They brought a law back to the county commission. And I'm proud to say that that was approved. And with the help of the sheriff's office, Captain Moss and his crew, I know that there are still panhandlers here. I see the same guy at Boca Rio Road and Glades Road every time I come through, right? But I know the sheriff's office is out there. I know they're working on it. If you see something, please contact their office. And I want to thank the sheriff's office for the cooperation on that, on that law, because that was a big one. I also worked with Commissioner Aronson and uh, the West Boca Community Council on stopping University Drive from coming up from Broward County. And Sherry can remember that was a big, huge issue. And that would have come straight up joined into, come right past Blades Road, come right up here through West Boca before it turned in. And it would have really, really changed the dynamics and changed the community that you currently have. So I'm very, very proud of the work that we did on that. And thank you to Sherry and all the trips that she took, especially down to DOT in Fort Lauderdale. Um, we just opened a park at Watergate Mobile Home Park. And we have been trying to do a ruin cutting, but we keep the weather keeps postponing it on us, but that park is open for the children in Watergate. It's beautiful. It's something that was long due for the residents in there, and uh, the county is very proud that we did that. One of the first things I helped work on was um, the flight pattern at Boca Raton Airport. If those of you who have been around long enough know that the flights used to come right over top of West Boca right over top of West Boca, on and on and on and on and on. And I remember coming to a West Boca Community Council meeting, I think 300 people turned out for that meeting um, to object to that. And we all worked together with Commissioner Aronson, I worked on it, Sherry worked on it, other leaders in the uh, council did, and we were able to get the flight pattern changed. So do you, not, you do not have plane after plane after plane coming over the way you did before. Boca Falls, was there anybody here from the Boca Falls community out on Glades Road? If you, you probably do remember, and I don't know how long you've lived there, ma'am, but I remember the community was built, and I remember Congressman Ted Deutsch lived in that community, and the fire station was, was proposed, and the high school was proposed. And I remember that your community went up in arms over that fire station. It wasn't that you didn't want it. Well. It wasn't that you didn't want it. You didn't want the sirens going off at night, and you didn't want the lights flying around in the night. So we worked together with fire rescue, with the county administration, and with the community. And we resolved that issue. And today, you've got a great fire station. You've got good people over there. You have a great community. And you have a very successful high school at, at Boca Falls High School. Um, Century Village. I've done a lot of work in Century Village. Who's here from Century Village tonight? 
Stanley, I know, is back here, and Mike is here. Mike is over here. You're, you're here. You. Frank's here. And Melissa, how oh, nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. We've done a lot of work. Sorry. Um, we've done a lot of work in Century Village, particularly when it comes to um, the hurricanes. We were very active when we had the three big hurricanes that came through, Wilma, Jean, Francis. We worked in there. I have worked with the leadership at Century Village on the bus contracts um, with the county, and we just recently approved the, the, the latest one. Contract came through to the board, and we just approved that. So I have worked closely with, um, with Century Village. And... Let's not, lest we not forget the right turn lane for Century Village. Yay! <laughs> Fred particularly liked that. We had Century Village folks that were coming to turn right into their the first entrance going to the north, and there it was not a dedicated turn lane, so we had a lot of accidents and a lot of rear-enders, and we were able to convince the county engineer that we needed to take that lane and make that a dedicated right turn lane into Century Village, which we did. And I'm very proud of that also. And... Um, I also want, oh, and the park, lest we not forget, South County Regional, also known as Bert Aronson Park. I remember my very first bus trip through the land where the park was being built, and somebody saying, this is going to have, um, this will have an amphitheater, ball fields will be over here, there's going to be a pool over there, and that was back in the, uh, probably 1995, 96, and today we have everything that was promised out there in the park. And... Um, Sherry loves that amphitheater that's out there. I know you go out and enjoy that. I'm there with the firefighters every 4th of July, raising money for MDA. And the final thing that I want to tell you is I'm not done working for you yet. I want to work the next four years. I want to help this community be the best community that it can be. I was the best burger in town in 2012, and you voted for me. I'm still the best burger in town. And also, I also want to tell you about my endorsements. I am endorsed by the Firefighters Union, the Police Benevolent Association, the Communication Workers of America. I am endorsed, and I'm very proud to say I got the Sun Sentinel endorsement, and just at 516, I think, Dave told me, I received the uh, Palm Beach Post endorsement. So I am very, very proud of all of those endorsements. The Village Century, too. I bought, pardon? The Village Century, too. The Village Century, too. Mm -hmm. Fred has me listed on his palm card. Um, I'm also um, endorsed by BizPAC, which is in West Boca. I mean, which is in Boca to the east. Um, the Boca Chamber, the Chamber in Palm Beach. And so what I'm trying to tell you is, yes, I have union support. Yes, I have business support. It shows that I am able to reach a balance. I am able to work with everybody on whatever the issue should be. And I really want to continue to do that for you. I can't think of anything better the next four years that will end my career because of term limits and it will end my career with the county. And I want it to be for you. I want to make this place the best place. I want to leave Palm Beach County a little bit better off than it was when I got here in 1989. So thank you very much for your support in the past. And I look forward to working with you.